the way the way you can spice up these uh, kind of emails uh, if you if you really want to be like you know you're, you're sending all this different content you're trying to add a value or you're just doing cold outreach so uh, basically there's there's one question I want to ask you what media is most likely to elicit a reply right and and based on the the sales hacker research uh, from from 2018 I think uh, LinkedIn and video were the top two that are actually going to get your reply so that's just a very interesting thing to have in mind uh, and a very interesting stat. So people just consume video in a, in a better way. Now, video can be part of your sequence. It can be part of the first outreach. It can be part of the nurture part, uh, and it can be part of the end cadence as, as we see here, but that's gonna be sent out to you so you can, you can consume and ask questions later. So this is how your personalized video would look in the sequence, right? It would be, in my, in my case, Nancy, if a demo seems too big of a commitment, watch articles in action, just record a demo, and guess what, it's 15 seconds. And I can see the reports and analytics, how how much uh, did Nancy watch specifically? Watch specifically in this in this particular email. Okay. Um, now, call to action. Before you earn your right to ask, be, make it quick. Yes, no questions. Request a connection. Request a referral. So these are people just want to be helpful, and that's the whole point of it, right? People want to help. Uh, now, after you earned your right to ask, be very specific with a date and time. This is a good good old uh, good old. Um, uh, tactic, provide multiple uh, choice options to A, B, C, D, just like Thomas did in, in his last email. So there are different, different techniques that you can make it really easy for people to engage with you because that's what you want. You want them to engage.